Hi, I'm Annie. I'm a friend of Avery's here at McDaniel College. And the cool thing about Avery is that in addition to being a great filmmaker, she has this awesome ability of taking the crazy things that come out of people's mouths and being a kleptomaniac for those things. And she likes to call it stolen dialogue. So today, I'm here to read some of those one-liners of stolen dialogue to you. So I guess maybe they could be stolen monologue, but um, I'm going to read them because they're fun. Did you lose the monk? Oh my god, whose vagina did he come out of? So, the four noble truths. Well, there are four of them, and they're noble. People will grab a bit of scripture and run with it like a football. We've got four minutes to cover the most important part of Buddhism. Oh well, whatever. Newt Gingrich creeps the hell out of me. I gotta be honest, I feel like he should be in a hollow tree making cookies or something. My uterus is in it to win it. That's worse than two horny hamsters in a handbasket. If I were a prison warden, I'd want my prisoners sitting around doing Buddhist meditation too. This piece of work is just an awkward expression. Apparently, bestiality is more common than human sex in some parts of the world. That's really weird. <laughs> I've never thought of a feminist as being tough, dry, overcooked, and hard to cut. The war of the worlds. Well, the clearest answer I got there was that humanity doesn't have a whole lot of control over anything. In The Thing from Another World, you've got this power-mongering, crazy effer who doesn't care if all of his friends die. So there's an example of an irrational scientist right there. Did you just make smart-assy a word? I sound like a Wookiee on helium. That there is what we call an inside joke. Did you eat a bowl of unoriginal for breakfast? Let's not tell Mr. Westcott that none of us did our homework, okay? We'll just say something that we got off Sparknotes. He won't know the difference. I Facebooked the crap out of him. No, I did not stalk him. I Facebooked him. There's a difference. Hey guys, I've got an idea. Let's have a revolution. Some people are born to be wild. Some people are born to be artists. He was born to be unprofessional. This just bypasses all levels of awkward. This is so much awkward, it's practically coming out of your ears. You are unnaturally full of awkward. Instead of the date rape drug, somebody poisoned your drink with a whole lot of awkward. All my friends have paired off. I have 16 close friends and they're all couples. So today, when I went to eat lunch with them, it wasn't like 16 individual people so much as 8 two-headed people. This here is what we in the business call a total effing disaster. I'll bring the donuts, you bring 2012 and I am legend, and we'll make a party out of it. Listen to what we're having for dinner. Irish chicken nuggets, Irish soy nuggets, Irish macaroni and cheese. Let me ask you, how do you make chicken nuggets Irish? Maybe they'll just like diet green. I'm so sick of zombies. Everywhere I go, people are talking about stupid zombies eating their stupid brains and infecting people with their stupid zombie powers. Can we just shut up about the zombies already? Why not talk about vampires? Or I don't know, the square root of pi. Anything but zombies. I'm not really in the habit of looking at people's bottoms. No. So today, I realized that there are directions on the side of Pop-Tart boxes. Dude, no person is stupid enough to need directions to eat a Pop-Tart. That's gotta be a misprint, or like a really bad joke from the Pop-Tart company. I've been living with him for so long that everything sounds like sarcasm to me. I think the main reason that I've never done anything stupid is because I'm smart. I swear, he's afraid of vaginas. 
He cringes every time we talk about vagina monologues. I'm afraid of dead bodies, but I walked in the catacombs. I'd like to see him walk into a cave of vaginas. For these. They're all Becky. Okay. So that's, that's it for the first Stolen Dialogue video. I hope you enjoyed it and weren't too weirded out by it, but this is just a collection of beautiful things overheard at McDaniel College. Bye everyone!